Hi everybody, it's Gabrielle here. I hope everyone is well. My friend is having a party in two weeks and she's out of frenzy as to what to do, what to make, and so I thought I'd do something more in the line of a party platter and see if we can do it in the shortest amount of time possible. You know my rule, I like to only spend about 15 minutes cooking. So I decided to do something with chicken. Everyone loves chicken, kids, adults. So, we're going to do something I call poulet au bois, which is French for chicken on a stick. And then for our uh, platter, I'm going to badlicious-fy it, because we have to stay badlicious, by using broccoli flour, which is a hybrid of cauliflower and broccoli together. And then there's also orange uh, cauliflower, which is very high in beta carotene. So they're packed with nutrients. Your guests will not even be aware that they're consuming something green. I started with chicken tenders because chicken tenders are really nice. They're moist, they're easy to work with. Uh, using my chicken tenders, I got a pack of regular skewers. What I did was grab each tender, simply stick that through, I opted to cut out this little gristle part that stick out and you can get the kids to help you with this. It doesn't take long because anytime you're dealing with skewer, skewering something, it takes a long time. So this would be all skewers. My virtual assistant was kind enough to get a nice batch ready for me. I will wash my hands and come right back with you. thoroughly because we are using raw chicken. For my chicken, I took regular cornstarch, I added to my cornstarch um, chicken bouillon, white pepper, uh, gave it a little kick with uh, chili powder, I also added some cayenne pepper, and then I whisked it. You can use a fork if you don't have a whisk, and it's kind of sticking right now but you want to whisk it to about this consistency. You don't want it too watery Be, uh, because it will not work if it's too watery. So there's the consistency of my cornstarch mixture. And to that, I added from some fresh chopped herbs. I took a bunch of herbs and just chopped them all together with the scissors. And then what I did was I took my mixture and I simply covered my chicken with it. All the wonderful skewers that my virtual attendant got ready for me. I appreciate that, thank you, virtual attendant. So my chicken is uh, has been on this plate for about 20 minutes right now. And we're going to move on to cooking our skewers. While they cook, I will make the um, dips that I'm making for them. So let's set our timer to 15 minutes. I have uh, to grab this thing carefully. It's hot already. Wish my virtual assistant had hands. I could use them right about now. So there. And we have our pan. Everything's nice and hot. Shouldn't take too long to get hot. It is getting hot. Ouch. Felt that one. So I'm going to just use some olive oil. I'm doing this full time with you, making it up as I go and see what happens. Not too much oil, but enough to coat it. I should be able to cook my chicken a few minutes on its side and have it be ready. So I'm going to grab them. And uh, I did it on this place just so you could see the amount uh, of uh, the mixture that I made. And just put them on there. And look at that. What the cornstarch does, it keeps the chicken really moist, gives it a nice little coating um, without having to batter and deep fry. My virtual assistant did 
a good job. They are staying well. So we're going to just, as you can see, there's not too much of the coating on, on the chicken, but enough to give it a nice texture. At least I hope, as I said, I'm making this up. We've never done it before. First time. I need a little bit more room here. Some people at work are going to be happy today because I'm going to share it with them. I can't possibly eat all this. Our timer is going. And our chicken is cooking. One more. This is a very nice non-stick pan, so it works well with me. Oh, this thing's getting on Got this right here and I need to move it away. All right, so add a little bit more oil or chicken. Now, what I'm going to do, I cook the green cauliflower, the broccoli flour, and after I cooked it, look at that, it lost all of its greenness and all of its bobliciousness, so we're going to bring back the bobliciousness in it by adding spinach. You can do this using a blender. Um, I do have my thing ready somewhere. Oh God. Is it? All right, bear with me one second. Oh, there it is. <laughs> I know I had it ready because I try to get ready for you guys. I uh, I don't have a lot of time. I have one hour before I have to go for Starting with the uh, broccoli flour, I'm going to put it in my mixture. My chicken is cooking. My timer is going. Oh, I don't hear it for some reason. But I guess it is working on its own. Then I'm going to add some green spinach to my mixture. I've already flavored the water when I cook the broccoli flour. And I'm going to add a little bit of A little bit, give it a little bit of uh, creaminess with sour cream, and let's hope it does what I want it to do. It should work. I'm something tells me I need to add a little water to this, just a little bit, not a whole lot, but so here we go, a little water. And I'll check on my chicken while this gets ready. Oh my God. Can you see how beautiful that is? You know, I think I should have probably mashed this first, but it's going to have to submit to it. So I will mash the orange one so that I won't have to go through this when I try and make my dip with it. This is a noisy show. I can 
see one part of the thing is not hot. So I'm going to uh, make an adjustment for the part that is not hot. And furthermore, I think I'm going to just cover this a little bit. I'm hoping this thing is done. Oh yes, it did come out. Oh, check it out, I did it. It submitted to me. You know, we're still under 15 minutes. And look at that beautiful dip. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, tastes wonderful too. So, we have got to move on to the second one. My, my, my. You know, when you're having a party, it's frantic, frantic, frantic run. You have to get the house done, you have to make sure your food is right, and there is so much to do, so if um, I can give you any tip to help you with that, I'm more than happy to do so. And so I'm trying to uh, work as fast as I can. Of course, I always work fast. Slow is not in my vocabulary. Thank you. Virtual assistant. And just so we don't run into the problem with uh, this one, I am going to add a little water to it. I don't want to add uh, very much sour cream because I want the orange color to stay. Oh, I can hear my chicken be sound really grand. And off we go with this one. I can't dance for you today. <laughs> I've got too much going on right now. <laughs> so we'll get that one going. Shake this thing. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake y'all. Mm -mm. Shake y'all. Okay. God, please do that just hurt myself. And that one is done. Also, look at that. Packed with energy, beta carotene, anti-cancer. Oh boy. <laughs> Woo! It's one of these days. Definitely delicious. But you know what? It's worth all the work. I'll do anything that's good for my body. So. You can serve this for multiple people. You can serve it for a small group of people, however you want. But there is the second bodlicious. Mm. Mm. That is so good. So now, I always want to bring. I'm going to do two plates. I'm going to show you one way that you can present it. Let's say you just wanted to see small party and one way to do it for a large group 
I would probably do something like I take this and I put different dips in this. Put that one in here. Like that. Still leaving my dip undisturbed. And then I would add this to next to it. And then I would add something like mm, everybody. I would do it red, which is a hot sauce. That's my so my chicken is ready and I do want green all around my plate I'm off to go this plate is not bright enough so I think I'll just add some spinach on my plate because that means everything on my plate is edible so I'll do that this one really doesn't need anything because the centerpiece is so pretty so I'll just accent it Okay, most of my chicken is ready. I only have a few pieces that are not ready. I don't want to cook them any more than they are right now. So, I would take them and just simply put them over. This one has a nice color. Look how pretty that is. Your guests would be just baffled that you put this together like this or you can take it and you could just serve it with your platter not a whole lot on the platter because I like this better and just amaze people that you can put something together my timer has not gone off so we beat the timer. We made something wonderful to eat. We stayed botlicious. And definitely, this is green body stuff. This is my creation of poulet au bois, which means chicken on a stick, created by me, T. Gabrielle. And of course, we do need to taste the creation. I just love the way the chicken looks and it's not fried it's definitely is moist inside so i'm going to try it with uh, i think i'll go with the green first with the green dip mm. Mm. this is so much that's one flavor mm. totally different flavor the two together and a spite of hot sauce should be absolutely dynamo. So I'm going to do a little bit of it on my skewer. Mm. 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 This is the Gabrielle. Try my poulet au bois. And thank you for watching. Bye bye.